the, the, they, they treat me well when I'm on the street, but if something happens to me, it's like, fuck you. <laughs> it's like, no, they're, they're not going to investigate anything. They're, they, when I came to them with allegations of organized crime on the internet, they filed four falsified psychiatric evaluation petitions on me. Instead of, like, investigating anything I brought to them. And these guys are bragging about having them in their pocket. They pay them off. The, the, the group that is on me is involved in, like, major international drug trafficking. And they're running a distribution network out of Tucson under the cover of the Tucson Police Department. Um, yeah, my, I had a saxophone stolen in April on the street, a thug. Did you left it alone or something? What? Had you left it alone? No, he drove me away from it and then turned around, what? grabbed it, and had somebody run interference while he escaped. I put it down to, so that I would, wouldn't get hurt defending myself from the guy who was up in my face attacking me. I backed me up about 50 feet, turned around, grabbed the horn, and ran off. Did Uh, to my knowledge, no. The officer who took the report um, made the arrest, but they released him immediately on a citation. He didn't show up in court, so now there's a warrant. And and I, you know, I, I pointed him out a couple of times to the cops, and the cops won't take him because they say he's going to just be out of jail the next day. Well, yeah, yeah. The ones on the internet are not so easy to identify, but I have some of them scoped pretty well. But I have no place to take it. I, I, I have no place to take it. FBI refuses to listen to anybody who's complaining about these people anywhere. Um, the, the Tucson police are dirty. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I, I just really don't know what to do. Um, the only option that I see open to me, and I have, I have somebody who is, uh, uh, investigates internet fraud who's been helping me. And he claims to have contacts in, with the federal law enforcement people. And he says they're going to help me. Um, they opened up a forum to our view, and we screen capped everything. We've got it all copied. And he says that this is the, 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 the stuff that he has. Uh, there should be people getting arrested, but they're not. I don't understand that. Because I don't understand the internet. I don't like the cyberspace business. And I just don't understand. You know, you like, you're such a talking. Uh huh. I I I I I. Um, right. Okay. Well, well. People are trying. People are trying. They're publishing. Why don't you just plain and simple hold it? Why don't you just plain and simple stay off the internet? Well, um, because I earn kind of part of my living on the internet. <laughs> And, you know, I'm, I'm part of an international network of human rights activists um, that's on the internet, you know, politicking. And that's what they're trying to destroy. And it's, you know, it's kind of hard. Why are they trying to destroy you? Uh, oh, I mean, like, just because, do do? what do I do? I, I expose the uh, multinational industrial banker gangsters for what's really going, been going on for the last 500 years. 
and they don't want the kind of knowledge that I have to share out there in the general public. So they're doing whatever they can to destroy my credibility and my ability to post anywhere. And they're inciting violence against me that's come to me in the real world a couple of times that cost me dearly financially. Is there somebody in is there is there is there some blood relative of mine that might take an interest in me that would listen to me and understand this and maybe be able to help? I know, but you don't understand, mother. You have no clue what I'm talking about. I need somebody who's young and understands, and you've got them all cut off from me. No, 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 I stopped and waited for you to respond because that's the hurt. Y'all hate somebody that I never was and don't know me. I don't kiss don't know me at all. What was English? What wasn't English about what I just said? What? What was? What was? What did you not comprehend about that last few points I made? A. I need somebody young and blood to talk to you about this and understands what I'm saying. And I can't reach out to them because the elders of the family have them all cut off from me. I never even met uh, a lot of the, a lot of them. I've never seen the kids. Don't even know the kids' names. Don't even know how many there are. I'll tell me what you just said again, Crystal. Go slowly and tell me again what you just said. <sighs> what was the last thing I said that you understood? <laughs> Ah. <laughs> oh, I can't do. Because I was crying. Oh, maybe talk to one of your grandchildren that might have some like knowledge of this kind of shit or your children and be willing to discuss this with me? What you want me to tell you? Mother, beer is a clear and present danger to my health and safety coming at me from the internet. I need help. And what kind of help do you need? Oh, a good lawyer mainly. Someone who can file for me. As it stands, I'm being forced to go to the court on my own for any kind of relief because the law enforcement agencies refuse to provide any. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I obviously, I need to speak with somebody who is knowledgeable about the technical aspects of all of this. I don't have one. I have no money to talk to one. My only option right now 
and, and I'm I'm gonna have to do it if nothing breaks by la Labor Day. I'm gonna start working on it. I, I've been working on it. I, I need to just collate everything and get it in order and file a bit. Um, and it's uh, a complaint of targeted harassment. Um, invasion of privacy by misappropriation of my intellectual properties defamation, harassment, computer intrusion, all sorts of shit. Um, and total uh, discrimination by the by the host platforms and complete uh, lockout by the law enforcement. Have you tried to get your data, Tony? I, 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 I need somebody who is, who's going to put all this on, on paper properly and get it filed. I, no, I mean like a pro bono litigation attorney for somebody who's working on a contingency basis. Or at least reduced fees. Right. Right. I, 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 I don't... Uh -huh. Because he had lost his memory entirely. Uh-huh. Well. Now, I don't know. I never do any. I always keep what I'm trying to do. Mm-hmm. And then, so I don't know. I don't know. I call him Mr. Cuthbert. Because <laughs> his, his, his head's gone. Why do you call him Mr. Kaput? Because he's super. Oh. And the attorney, as far as we're concerned, he's super. Oh. And he's the one who has lost his memory. Okay. That, that's what's up. And I just don't know what to do. And, it, you know, it, uh, the, I ignore it as best I can. <laughs> It's all I know how to all I know to do, but it just it just keeps getting worse and worse every time I every time I turn around something something bad's happening somewhere. Um, and what's going with the gem shows? I have to sue about that too. I got I got thrown out of it. Um, huh? Got tossed from the gem show based on lies that the guy got from the internet. Me? Okay. What? Yeah. Right now? This minute? Oh, you lose your life. What are you doing? Um, I uh, do a lot of, I share a lot of commentary on the news. Um, and commentary what? Commentary on the news into the public networks. And who do you do this for? Hold it. Who do you do this for? I'm on a mission from God. Huh? I'm on a mission from God. I do it for I do it for I do it for the public I do it I do it for the public good. I do it because I, I'm not allowed to do what I wanted to do and, and society's fucked up and somebody's gotta do it. I have hundreds of friends all over the world who are doing the same thing. But that's, you know, that's about half of my time. The other half of my time, I'm, I'm trying to sell stone or playing music. And that's pretty much what I've been doing for the last 20 years. <laughs> Because, um, I, you know, I, I wanted to raise food under the ocean, but that never happened. Wars were more, more, more profitable.
Not much. Not much. Not much. Not much. Not, not much worth worth bragging about. <laughs> not much worth bragging about. I got a couple of shipments I have to send out Monday. Um, and I gotta I gotta get my studio in order. I wanna I wanna um do some uh, rock shows online, trying to sell some stone. Um, and I, I have to do something about about this. I, I need to make some moves somewhere. Um, well, I, I, I'll get it. No, I, I <coughs> no, I'm 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 pretty um <coughs> between the music and the stones, I have a pretty comfortable niche. Um, I'm not getting rich, but at least I eat. Niche, a slot, a little space, a little piece of reality for myself. Yeah, I mean, I have, I don't have any close friends really, um, uh, but I have a lot of good friends, acquaintances, people I know that, uh, not a whole lot here, and my closest ones here aren't here right now, just because as you know, it's a snowbird town. Um, but I, there, I know a lot of good people, and we entertain each other well. <laughs> and there, you know, there's a nice, you know, I, I go out on the street and I run into people I know all the time. We go, you know, we go have a drink somewhere, go see some music or something. Um, that's good. That's all good. I just don't have any close friends and no lover. I haven't had a lover. And I haven't really had a lover since 1982. <laughs> Hardly ever had any. What? What? you move you got a new address? 160 East 21st Street. Alright, uh, do me a favor. I'll, s I'll send you. Send me, your, send me your address in my email. Yeah, if, as if you ever look at it. <laughs> I'll, I'll send. I have two phones. This one works better. You'll notice it's it's a different number than the one you have written down. Okay. Okay. I know. Uh, have you got your hearing aids working decent now? Well, they work, but they're, you know, they're not 100%. Uh-huh. And these are alive. Right. So, uh, That's right. I understand. I'm going to be 65 years old this year, brother. Wow. Um, all my inside parts are like in perfect working order. Except my sinuses. Your inside all, you know, all from stem to stern, all of it working perfect. I mean, I, my, my bones and muscles have taken a beating. <laughs> but, but my guts work, my heart, liver, and shit like that work real well. Are you going to be 65 this year? Yes, mother. 2019 minus 19654 is 65. Wow. Oh. Yeah, wow. <laughs> And, and 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 you know it's there's a um I don't know if you're gonna follow this because like 
transgender people who are not able to express themselves go into hiding and get kind of developmentally arrested. And then later in life, when they transition, they go through something called the second puberty. Did you follow that? No. No. <laughs> oh, well, I'll give up. <laughs> uh, um, no, I, I'm, I'm, I, that's what I'm, you know, I, 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 in the past 20 years, I've done very little other than the internet, you know, other than just go out and play some music or try to pedal some stones. Everything else has been on the internet for the past 20 years. And I've really met some wonderful people, real courageous and devoted people to what's fair and just and true. Are you I'm sure they don't get to understand because they always want to, they always want to hurt you. Oh no, that's a very small percentage. There really is a very small percentage, and it turns out that these people are being paid to do it. Okay, there is nothing I can do to stop it because they're being paid to do it. They're being paid to harm me. Paid by who? The Zionists, apparently. The illegal covert government. The people that put a bullet in John Kennedy's head. The people that put Donald Trump in office. Same people that put a bullet in my back 30 years what? ago, 32 years ago. They shot me for saying something 32 years ago. And the only reason they didn't kill me was because it was going to be too obvious. Same reason they don't kill me now. They're trying to get me to kill myself. Or get somebody riled up enough to do it. It's a little much, really. Come on, would you please? Let me let me say one last thing before you say what you're gonna say. Please talk. Please talk to at least your children about what I just said. I need to talk with somebody who understands what I'm saying. I don't know who the person would be. Well, they will. Alan certainly would. Matthew certainly would. Uh, uh, Jesse would. What? That Alan, Jesse, or Matthew would almost certainly understand what I need to tell, express to people, and they may know what to do from there. I'm telling you, this is what it is. <laughs> that was quick. Come on, the top. Whatever. Um, I know. What, what, what did she want to say? <laughs> I can let you go. <laughs> I will. I will. I will. I will. And if I think of anything, I swear to you, I'll call you. I can please. I mean, even if you don't, uh, it's nice to, okay. you know, hear, hear from you. I hear, you know, I hear from okay. anybody. Okay. Well, nice talking to oh. you, Mom. Happy day. I'm well. I, I'm, I'm really well. I, uh, I'll send you some pictures. You'll see. I'm really, really well. I just have a hard thing going on, but I'm well. Hi. Love you, ma'am. I love you. I really do. Call me more and I'll Bye. believe it. Bye bye. This is for my stalkers. 
the IV mostly met in some time in the cells I have ever encountered anywhere. So thank you for publishing, you know, po doing whatever you did to open up the, that forum. I don't believe any of it. I just totally don't believe fucking none of it. Um, but, uh, I want to make it real clear to David Price. My family loves me, motherfucker. Don't fuck with me or my family, motherfucker. Okay? You're clearly projecting your own fucking insanity at me. I'm not anything like what you're describing. And there are a lot of people who love me for what I do, for what I say, for what I teach them, for the music I play, for the beautiful stones and the beautiful stonework I do. Fuck you. You're ugly people, all of you. But David Price, you're true scum. Thanks for watching, folks. Happy day. Bye.